Trader Todd here. Welcome to the video update. This is going to be for Wednesday, September 2nd. And uh, stocks got clocked again today. And um, hopefully you've been following along in the free videos. We've been basically handing you those trades. And um, and uh, if you were short with us, you made some money. Um, we uh, we covered them up today uh, with our research clients. Uh, we were short the S&P a couple different ways. We had the SDS, uh, which is the short ETF. Um, so in a 22 out of 2373, uh, we did a 200, 201 call spread. Um, so that was in SEP. We bought. Uh, a third of it back at 23 cents. Uh, we've still got some. Um, we are also, um, we did the two, we, we bought some Deep of the Money 201, uh, SEP 1 weekly puts, paid 376. We put this trade on just Friday. Um, actually, no, yesterday, excuse me, Monday. Paid 376 out of 450 out of 1020. So we covered most of it today. We still have a little bit of that 201, 202 um, call credit spread. And the reason we did is uh, the market sold off pretty deeply into the 618 retracement. Um, I think there's a bounce coming. And, you know, I, I kind of think it's going to be a little bit of a wave four move down here like this. Three, four, five. Then we go down um, in wave five. So I want to be out um, for the first reason. Number two is the NASDAQ. So while the S&P uh, just retraced about 61% of the rally uh, from August 24th up to the 28th, you'll see the NASDAQ barely managed a 38% uh, pullback. So it's getting pretty, you know, we should have been lower in the NASDAQ today. And, and today felt really, really aggressive. So we kind of covered up the shorts um, and we're actually going to look to go the other way on a short-term basis uh, tomorrow. So we're going to look at setups in uh, Amazon and Tesla. Okay, to start, Amazon um, has held in really well. So here's the August 24th low up. See, this is a wave four, and wave four did not move into the territory of wave one at uh, $490. So if we get any kind of strength tomorrow, we should be able to move up into uh, higher uh, FIB resistance there. The um, invalidation, 490, entry should be around 500, and we should move between 520 and 540. So you're going to go here, do your implied volatility filter, and um, if it's high, we are going to do a um, put credit spread, and if it's low, we'll do a call credit spread. 79% implied volatility, very high right now. So it makes a lot of sense to sell puts below wave count uh, invalidation, which is going to be just below that 50%. Uh, 490, so you can do like anything, 490 and below, 490, 485, uh, put credit spread for the move up to 541. All right. We're also going to be looking for a similar setup in Tesla. We'll leave it there for now. Uh, if this video was a help, please give us a like. It's uh, very much appreciated as it helps us uh, rise up in the YouTube rankings. And uh, appreciate it. Hope you guys are able to make some money on the short side. But don't get too comfortable. NASDAQ wasn't confirming. That's trouble. Talk to you guys.